I just ordered a new truck. Yeah. New trucks are awesome, and I love buying them. I just placed an order for a new 2025 Ram 1500 Bighorn that is loaded. <laughs> hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SV Talk, first time channel. Welcome, truck guy over here. And uh, every year I like to buy a new truck. And before I get to the details of what I ordered, I'm going to put the spec sheet on with pricing. We'll talk the options I got, the features, all kind of stuff. I'll get those details. I just want to let people know who follow this channel that, yes, I still am trying to buy a Toyota Tacoma as well. The The, the gas models are just now coming out. The hybrid, I'm worried, is going to be delayed even further if whatever's going on, what's going on in the plant. The Trail Hunter could be even further out because it's what I want. It's a really badass version. I may be looking in next fall or even next year to get that. So I thought, I got to do something now. I had the Chevy Silverado 1500 last year, the 3 liter Duramax diesel. Loved that truck. Modified it. Looked, made it really, really cool. This morning, I drove to the dealership, and I just sold it. I just, sitting outside, business asset, I just, I needed to move it. I wanted to trade it in a new vehicle. There's nothing to trade in right now. There's nothing out there, and I just, I just, I guess sense urgency. So, I went and ordered a Ram, because out of the trucks out there in the marketplace, the Ram 1500 is new, new engine, new styling, new features going on in it, and the new Ford 150 is also new, 2024 model, but I've already had a Ford. And I've had a GM with a Chevy. I've had a Toyota Tundra. So now it's time for a Ram. You know what? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, we got a little fitment issue. Hold on. Technical difficulty at the moment. There we go. Now, if you think I'm brand biased, I've had small different brands. So that's not the case. I just, I don't know. I'm talking about Rams. So let's, uh, let's get the hat on. I love hats. Don't you love hats? Um, I have the details. Right here. But for your viewing pleasure there, folks, because I did it for you, I went ahead and made a website post on pickuptrucktalk.com. Move my face over on the side here. Um, I have a whole post. I talk about what I ordered. Um, I, I kind of I don't go into detail, detail, but I talk about it. And then what I did is there is no photos of the Bighorn Ram. There's no photos of the Bighorn 2025. So this is a just a tungsten front end, but that's what the new Ram on the front looks like. All right, let me interrupt myself here. Before we get too much further, let me show you what this truck looks like. Now, unfortunately, I don't have B-roll of the tungsten. This is what you're seeing, a tungsten trim. But it's the same kind of red. It's going to look pretty similar, maybe not be as stylish inside. Not so many features, uh, some of the stylings outside, some of the tires will be different. But the panel sunroof is there, the short box, the crew cab, the same similar front end, I hope, will be uh, maybe different body color styling. Um, again, this tungsten model, you got to stay with me for a minute. That's all they have on the media site. Currently, they're out there shooting more footage of this truck, but this is what they got. So, um, yeah, I think it's a good-looking truck. I think Ram's had a, a good look for several years now, and uh, the quality's gone up. And I'm pretty excited to see what this thing does with me behind the wheel and how much I get, if I like it, if I get used to it. You know you know me in the video, sometimes I get like stuff, sometimes I don't like stuff, and I definitely tell you that stuff. Um, I don't know that we're pulling a bulldozer with that or the skid steer with that. But yeah, at night, those lights look pretty cool. I'm, again, I'll be curious what the Bighorn has versus this. Uh, there's those Ram boxes I got. And uh, yeah, all right, let's get back to the specs. Um, I, I will be driving the Ram in about three weeks. So I'm going to drive the truck I'm buying, which is kind of cool. Then I'll get the truck. That's how the job works. But along the bottom here, right here in the story, which I'll link to in this uh, description and also in the comments, is a PDF. Ba boom. And this is all the details. Now you have to excuse the line to the side because, well, my copier is not so great. And I bought it from Regainus, local dealer here in town. And so I went in and told him what I wanted. And this is what we ended up with. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So we're going to start with this. We have the, the Bighorn crew cab, the five, five and seven foot bed. And the reason I want Bighorn is Bighorn is their volume seller. And I wanted to get the, I had the high country and people were like, that's just too fancy for them. So they wanted the, the, the volume seller, and I said, you know what? Let's do the volume seller. But I had to spec it up a little bit because uh, I want some features. And I, it, five more features, more videos I can talk about, more things you guys can go, well, I don't know if I want that or not, but let me see Tim's video. Let's see if he likes that feature. So we did it. So the base engine is a 3.6 liter V6. And by the way, I get excited on camera. If you think I talk fast, there's a setting button down below. Just slow me down. Just go down to 0.75 and you will hear me perfectly. But I just, this is how I talk. 
Uh, there's a three liter inline Cirrus Hurricane uh, twin turbo engine. Uh, oh, I had the specs. Let me go back one time. I had the specs uh, right here. It is 420 horsepower and 469 pound feet of torque. The maximum payload is 2,000 pounds, maximum towing of 11,580 pounds. Aha, depending on the trim level and features added on. So that's the maximum. We got to check the door jam to see what the, the payload of this is going to be, which I hope I can, I can do while I'm driving it. Um, eight speed automatic transmissions. They kept the transmission the same. The Hurricane is a $2,600 upcharge. Now, don't be scrolling your eyes at the bottom. Stay with me here. Don't go to the final price. Stay with me. Knock it off. Uh, Delmonico Red Pearl Coat, which is Delmonico Red. If you haven't seen it in person, and even you got to see it in person, it is phenomenal. It, it looks great. I love it at night. I've been a big fan. Uh, I admit the lock, deluxe cloth bucket seats. Now, why go cloth, not leather? Well, I had the Ford F 150 had cloth heated seats. That was fantastic. In the summer, you didn't burn, get too hot. In the winter, the heat would, um, it was like a heating blanket underneath you. I mean, just it, it was nice and warm. And I know people are like, well, I want to, if I'm spending that much money, I'm going to go leather. I'm telling you guys, slow down. I, the, the cloth, I'm a big fan of the new age cloth. This isn't like 1990s cloth. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, black diesel gray. So I'm assuming it's blackouts, outers, diesel gray is like inserts, like most brands do. Uh, trailer brake controller, onboard power system. Huge fan of onboard power. I can't wait to check this out. I love the Pro Power on board. That was the Ford thing. I can't wait to check out Rams. Um, I don't know what more brands don't do more power in the bed. I, I'm really curious about this. Ram boxes. I have wanted Ram boxes forever. I, when I get a press on a Ram, I don't get them very often, but I want to get them. It's just what happens um, in my market. I love checking out Ram boxes, and I want to use them, and I want to put beer in them, and I want to go fishing and do stuff of those. So I'm, I'm really curious about that. The surround view camera system, which to me, driving a big truck these days, they are really safe. They have lots of features, but really the cameras make them that much easier to drive and use. So surround view camera, must. Off-roading, in the store parking lot, whatever you're doing, hunting. Well, I'll probably take this hunting this year. Uh, surround view camera is going to be awesome. Which, by the way, I can probably put my ammo in the cargo. Good night. Uh, 33 gallon fuel tank. I was like, you know what? And it's a choice, and I live in a remote area, and I want more fuel. And 33 gallons is nice. You skip the gas station a lot. Uh, the multifunction tailgate, which is interesting to say multifunction terminology, but that's a cool one. It's like a barn door, 60-40 split, and it opens this way and does this way. What's great about that is if you need to get, like, if you have a trailer and you want to get in the one side of it, you don't have to open whole tailgate, worry about hitting the uh, trailer. Trust me, I might have marked up a tailgate time or two doing that. You just open up one side. It's pretty damn handy. Uh, the front light slate bracket, which is zero dollars, which was an option. So, the dual pane panoramic sunroof, which I love panoramic sunroofs in the winter time. That may shock you. People are always like, "Well, I don't want my sun in, in there." You can close it. They have the whole they close it in the winter, and even in like places like Michigan where they build this thing in the winter when it's overcast, it makes the cabin feel more light inside, and it just it makes you happier for kind of. Uh, Anti-spin differential rear axle. There actually was, I was just talking to him, and I think he said there's three. There's an open diff, anti-spin, and then maybe another rear axle. So um, I just, I, I don't want to spin. I thought that was kind of a, a no-brainer to go with that option. I did get the Mopar front rear rubber floor mats because I want to see what they're like. Uh, the wheels, the 20-inch aluminum chrome clad wheels, I had to get because of a package, whatever. I'm fine with that. I, I'll have somebody, maybe somebody with send me a set of tires. We'll try different tires. Uh, this is an interesting one. The 355 rear axle ratio. Interesting for multiple reasons. Um, I, again, I talked to my uh, friend who ran, and we are talking about this, and uh, he said it might be because of the fuel tank or it might be because of the packaging or whatever that it only gets 355. It, and it's also the standard output. The higher output twin turbo, the Hurricane member comes in two varieties. The higher, higher output gets 395 rear axle ratio. Uh, What's interesting about that from the second piece of that equation is I've talked to many brands now who and engineers of different brands who've told me that the more multi-speed transmissions are negating the benefits that you get from the higher axle ratio. They can mimic what the axle ratio was giving you before by holding the, the transmission gears or shifting slower. That They're able to make that work. So I've always had 392 or 430 in the old Tundra. I used to have the 2014. I'm going to be really curious what happens at 355. I want to know what fuel economy is like. I want to know what towing is like. I'm going to try to tow the same kind of camper I did with the Silverado and other things I've done. And we'll see if we get the sense what's going on. Now, i got a bunch of uh, groups here. We'll go through those. Bed utility, technology, trailer tow, production. i got details of what these groups are. Okay. 
because the build and price tool is not up yet for RAM. So you can't build and price this. Um, but dealers have known because the dealers have placed orders, order books open. Toy Technology Group, a Bighorn Level 2 equipment group. And I have stats in here for the Bighorn Level 1 equipment group. So you get, we'll kind of go back and forth on that in here in a minute. Um, there's all your details. And so with destination, 72575 That's with destination. Interestingly enough, interestingly enough, that is $5,000 more than the Silverado High Country I bought last year, which is the highest trim level of Chevrolet. So that's interesting. But I was talking to Ram, and, they, and I'm going to find out more about pricing in a couple of weeks. I may be able to defend this price better based on that information. But they said they've actually gone down in price because they've been able to package things a little bit differently. So there you go. So on the one hand, you're going, damn, Tim, $72,000 for a bighorn. On that hand, they're going, well, you know what? They actually may have made some packages better. You guys, let me know in the comments because I know you will how you said on that one. But that's interesting that, you know, that I've been buying these trucks for the last couple of years. And again, I get them as a week as a press loan, but when you buy them, just the experience a lot different. It just, I learn a lot more. I love it. I go through the owner's manual. I email lots of questions. I'm going to apologize to the PR guy right now because I know he's watching this. I'm going to email you a dozen more times because this stuff, I get all these details. And one somebody told me once that a brand's greatest fear is Tim getting a brand new truck because Tim goes through everything. <laughs> and I do. All right. So Bighorn Level 2 Equipment Group, uh, Google Android Auto. That was... I. I, I wanted, it wasn't that, it was, oh, the touchscreen, that 12 inch touchscreen display. I wanted the bigger touchscreen display. A uh, little wrap steering wheel, power adjustable pedals, which is great. Uh, that's something that Jill talks about a lot. And so I'll be curious to hear her viewpoint on power adjustable pedals. I'm telling you, Jill, managing editor, so, um, she will have a rant. She'll have an editorial on power adjustable pedals and her love affair with those because she's five foot nothing and she can't drive these trucks without those. A heated front seat. So I got cloth heated seats. Telling you that is the, that's the bomb. Um, yeah, uh, the uh, let's see, premium overhead console, Apple, Apple CarPlay, big deal for me. I like using Apple CarPlay. Uh, it's easier for me to use. I uh, get all my music, that kind of stuff. Remote tailgate release, huh? I, I wonder if that's going to be in the key fob too. It, it's funny because I had it on the button inside the, the Chevy, and I will tell you, it's the dumbest thing ever. And then you use it, and you're like, it's the greatest thing ever. It's just what happens with that tailgate release. You walk out of Menards, Home Depot, pull up your key fob, ding, ding, it opens, you get your truck, you start loading. You have to, I know it's one additional step. I know it, it's what, first world problems. It's just nice. It's just nice, okay? LED dome lamp, universal garage door opener, second row in floor bit storage bins. Oh, those are the ones that in the floor. Those are where you hide your whiskey. Aha, I like those. Uh, sun visors, power two-way adjustable lumbar seat. LED footwell lighting. That should be a standard feature. LED footwell lighting is so important, especially at night. You're getting out of the truck. It lights up around your feet. So if you drop your phone or keys, which I did, if you don't remember the story, when I had the Toyota Tundra, I, st I drove home from Houston. I stopped at a uh, hotel, dropped my key on my pocket because the uh, pants I was wearing didn't have good pockets. And it fell down and I couldn't see it. And I'd use my phone with, with, the, with the light on it to find the damn keys because it had no LED footwell lighting. Mm. Real world application, you learn from me, huge deal. Rear power sliding window, that's great. And you get that airflow. I don't think like it's dumb to have to me to have a manual sliding window in a crew cab truck. What are we gonna do? Open the door, go in the back, open that door, open the window, close that door, go back in the front, sit. No, you're driving. Hit the button, Shh, opens. Whoa, it works. All right, uh, GPS navigation. 4G LTD Wi-Fi hotspot I never use. I sign up for it. I just never use it. I probably won't, hopefully I won't get snickered into signing up for that again because I, I just I don't even know where I, I bill it to because I don't even pay attention to it. Uh, overhead LED lamps. Okay. Uh, exterior mirrors, heating element, auto dim, Sirius XM, uh, connected travel. Uh, some of this stuff is for that. But heated steering wheel. We can see how that works. Because you remember the Tundra was so bad, I actually bought an automotive grade heat gun. I can zap it. I'll tell you whether some of the guns warm or not. Uh, black sticker mirrors, configurable drive modes, IP badge, bighorn, 400 watt inverter, HD radio. You connect nav five with 12 inch display, exterior mirrors, exterior mirrors, air conditioning, dual zone cluster, seven inch cluster, driver's seat, power adjustable, and the convex wide angle exterior mirror insert. Okay. This is bighorn equipment group one. We're going to go through this real fast. It's a thousand, about a thousand dollars less on the screen. I was kind of eyeballing the guy building the, the truck. Uh, rear window defroster, the power adjustable pedals, the rear power sliding window, steering wheel, glove box, uh, exterior mirrors, front heated front seats, black, 
Sirius XM, 400 watt. So about the, a lot of the same things, uh, second row and floor storage. I guess you get the LED lights in the in the, the footwells. Um, yeah, I, I guess I could probably say the 1000 bucks there. There's not much on this that I would have got. Oh, CarPlay. Ew, look at that. Apple CarPlay and Google the Android is not included in that package. Well, isn't that sneaky? Huh. Yeah, so I'm glad I got the right package because I want to use CarPlay. And I want to have, I wonder if that's, I, I'll check with them in a couple weeks. Stay tuned for that video. But I wonder if that's in wireless. I'm going up. I'm sorry. Slow down for a minute. I wonder if that's a wireless Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay. Huh. Interesting. And I have an Apple phone. I'm actually, fun fact, filming this in Apple phone. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, there's Big Home Equipment Web 1. Go see that. And Advanced Safety Group. So uh, Evasive Steer Assist. I really want to check this out. So by the way, PRF is watching this. Give me an invite to your Proving Grounds. Let's check this stuff out. I think it's kind of cool. When I go to Proving Grounds, they actually have a track set up. Uh, drowsy Driver Detection, Traffic Sign Recognition, Intersection Collision Assist System. The traffic sign recognition is interesting. My Silverado, I stopped paying for the subscription, and that went away. I don't get traffic sign recognition because I didn't pay for OnStar. Okay. Uh, technology Group. Heads up display. I really like the heads up display. So I wanted that. LED chisel lamp. That chisel lamp's great, especially, again, hunting, out, uh, working, uh, if I'm ever out in the field, helping farmers or whatever. Um, that lamp lights up. The bed lights up. It's fantastic. Auto dim mirror, digital mirror. Oh, I love digital mirror. So what you do here is you actually flip it forward, and it becomes a camera mirror on there. I think that's what this is. Did I read that correctly? And a, a camera mirror. And so at night, it dims those lights behind you. It's like looking through a video game behind you. It's really cool technology. A lot of people don't like it at first. They think it's too weird or what, like it looks like a, a video game screen up there. But the more you get used to it, the more I find I use it all the time. And the other thing that's cool is it works off the um, chisel lamp. So if people are behind you in the cabin, you don't look at their heads. You can look behind you, you actually see what's what traffic's like, which is I think is really important. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, production group. I got the skid plate. I got tow hooks. How in the hell are tow hooks not standard equipment? <sighs> Whatever. Uh, for me, they're standard equipment. I got a skid plate. I got fuel tank skid plate, front suspension skid plate. This protection group, I think, for what the price was, I'm looking back over here. Uh, protection group was 395 bucks. Like, why would you not just get that? Like, that should just be, uh, that's an automatic. Like, if a dealer orders this truck without protection group, whatever, ADB, bad dealer. Like, this is this is a must-have for any truck. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's it's most things where it's just, it's thrown in. It's just going to be it's standard. I mean, whatever. Uh, Toy Technology Group, which was uh, 595 trailer surround view camera systems. I think that comes with additional or additional camera, or it uses the it actually you type in your data for the um, trailer and it shows the trailer around you. It actually does a whole thing. That's a really cool system. And the hitch lineup assist. Um, so that's gonna that could be a new thing. Hmm. I didn't have heard of that one before. I'll be curious what that is. I had the press release open over here, so let's uh let's uh let's go show it on. So we said hitch assist. Let's make search hitch assist. Hmm. Not there. So yeah. Hitch lineup. Hitch. Let's just try hitch. Nope. Okay. So in a couple of weeks when I do the event, I'm gonna figure out what the heck that thing is because I hope it's like the Ford system. The Ford system is really cool. Um, you actually it, it, the computer tech that figures out where the hitch is and actually kind of guides you back to so you line up the hitch correctly the first time. No forward, back, go back an inch, come back on an inch, go to an inch, whatever. No, you just go right back and it hits, 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 hits is really easy. Uh, is it a big deal? Is it a must? Are you a man if you cannot do that? You cannot be a man if you can't hook up your trailer. I get all that stuff, guys. I heard the comments. It's just nice. It's just nice when you're in a rush, your family's watching, you're trying to get the camper hooked up to leave the campground or the boat connected. And you just want to get on the road. That stuff is nice. Okay. That's what I got. What do you think? Did that. I don't know. I'm pretty excited. I love full-size trucks. I live in an area where full-size trucks makes a lot of sense. I use them for hunting. I use them for uh, commuting. I use them for traveling. I use them for camping. It's just it's just for my family. We have a family of four. It's lots of elbow room. I get my space. They get their space. It works out great. I can't wait to check out these cloth seats because I want to see if they're any good. Um, I, I Like I said, leather I've always been kind of hit or miss with. I, I'm a big fan of cloth, and this is not, to the, not the old cloth seats, which is really exciting as well. And the Monaco Red, huge fan of that. So I'll be curious to see what happens um, when I get it. I'm going to drive it, like I said, in a couple more weeks, and then I should get delivery. So I'm doing an event with Ram 
or they have pre-production builds. So this, I'm not going to drive my truck. I'm going to wait till they, they start building them, which should be a couple more weeks. So it's all like a couple weeks, a couple weeks away, a couple weeks away. So I'm guessing uh, the dealership told me like 90 days. I probably will get it faster than that. I hope, knock on wood, depending what happens in the build sequence and when they build stuff. So this is January 26th. I'm doing the video. So I'm hoping February, March, March, April, somewhere in that realm. Um, I have my old 62 C10. Old Swede's going to be my backup truck right now for a while. And then I don't have any press clones. I exhausted the press plates. So eventually I'll get more press clones. Those are the week long reviews you guys see me do. So right now it's me and Swede waiting for our Ram. Ram. <laughs> there you go. There's the details on this. Make sure you check out the website. Again, follow the specs. Put that down below. And correct me all the corrections. I have made a mistake. Let me know about it, though. I'll try to do better next time. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.